thoracic cavity now and I'm pushing down on the diaphragm. Thank you. Pushing on the diaphragm. And if you look in the back here, there's a couple things you're going to see. If you fold the lungs down, between the lungs and the heart down here at the bottom, you see the caudal vena cava coming up from the bottom. Do you see it? Right there? Can you all see it? Is it the blue one? That's the blue one. That's the caudal vena cava. Now if you fold the lungs up and you look underneath the lungs, then you're going to see over on the side, you see what I've got the loop under? Mm -hmm. That is the azygous vein. See the azygous vein right there? Mm -hmm. Alright. So that's going to go in and then right up above it, for coming from the top down, you've got this vein here and this big vein here is going to be the right cranial vein. Okay, so you have two inferior or two superior vena cavas, and this is one of them. So this is the right cranial vena cava, and then that becomes, as you go up here, that becomes the external jugular. And then the external jugular splits, and one of them is an internal, and I think it's this one here. I think this little stump here that's been broken off, I think this might be the internal jugular going here. And then there is a part of it that crosses, like a strap, and that would be the transverse jugular. And that's also broken off. Okay. And then that's going to continue into the arm. Did we do the arm on this side? I think this side's better. That's going to continue into the arm as the subclavian. And once it gets into the axillary area, it's axial, and then in the arm it's going to be called um, brachial. And you can also see the same thing here coming off here. This one here is the subscapular. Do you see it? So subclavian is here and subscapular is here. Okay, those are the veins on this side. So this is the left cranial vena cava. This is the sub, oh, excuse me, the left external jugular. The left subclavian vena cava, or left cranial vena cava is right here. So here's the, the left cranial vena cava. This is the left external jugular. And then in between them here is the left subclavian. And then this one coming out this way is the left subscapular. And those are all the veins on that side, I think, that you guys need to know. Sorry about that confusion. Okay. Did you get that all right? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then... Looking at the arteries, we have this little short brachiocephalic here. This is actually the ascending aorta. This is the aortic arch, and then it's going to go down and become the descending aorta. So uh, we've got the little brachiocephalic coming up here, and then the brachiocephalic is going to split to form the right and left carotid arteries. Right, right and left carotid arteries. And then it's going to continue underneath here. So this is coming another branch coming off of the aortic arch. And this is going to be the subclavian. And then we have a whole bunch of blood vessels coming off. So you're going to see the very first one here that goes up. Do you see it? That is the vertebral. The next one that's going up is the thyrocervical. See if it is. It's right here. This is the thyrocervical. And there should be one going down, which I have not found or seen on this animal. There's a costo cervical that goes down, and I can't see it. Let's see if it's on this side. Ah, here we go. On this side, it's right here. See it? That's the costo cervical that goes down. Right there. And then that continues on. The subclavian continues on and becomes the axillary. And then the axillary goes into the arm and becomes the brachio. Okay. Everybody all right with that? Um, you refer to the cranial, um, vena cava. cava. It only shows the left vein. No. There's actually, if you look at the vena cava, you're looking at the wrong picture. You're going to see you have two vena cava, one on each side. This is the left cranial vena cava. This is the right cranial vena cava. Huh? Pulmonary arteries and pulmonary veins, you know, we're going to have to dig down in here because I haven't done that yet. We're going to have to go in and separate them. Can you? Well, there are some blood vessels. This is an azygous. 
This looks like it might be, yeah. We, I need to pick through this. I'll have to pick through this and see if it's an artery or vein. I'll have to pick through it and figure out where it's going in the heart. Yeah. Um, the other thing, looking at this, is this, this um, nerve. So this nerve here is going to be the um, vagus nerve. And there, usually in, in a cat, there would be a, a stellate ganglion here. But it looks like there's a celiac, or the celiac, sorry. It looks like there's a plexus, maybe called the cardiac plexus. Is that possible? Look at your nerve pages. Is that a cardiac plexus? Might be. If you have a picture of the nerves, I think it's like the last page in the, in the book. Anybody see last or second to last page? It's nerves. Anyway, so vagus, vagus nerve. There is a no-dose ganglion that's all the way up here at the top. I haven't found it yet. It could be, could be this right here. But there is a no-dose ganglion that's all the way up at the top. And then this is all vagus nerve. And then there is like a conglomeration of nerves here. Like I said, in a cat, that would be the stellate ganglion. It could be maybe the cardiac plexus or something like that. Yeah, there is. Okay. And then you have these other nerves that connect directly to the diaphragm. Uh, let's see if I can find one. Here's one. And that's not the vagus nerve. That is the... What's it called? Sciatic. Huh? Not sciatic nerve. Wrong end of the body. What's it? The what? Phrenic. Yeah, it's the phrenic nerve. Makes you have the hiccups. So it's connected to the diaphragm. And I think that's it up here, isn't it? Is there anything else? Uh, trachea, you all know that. You all know the, the larynx, right? And then the, the um, right here is where you should have your thyroid gland, which looks like part of it's gone. There's a little bit left right there. Do we have another range underneath the esophagus? The what? Under the esophagus. The esophagus is actually right behind. Under the trachea, there's some veins I don't think so. I see them, but I don't think that's on, they're on your list. But I think right back here, if you if you roll your esophagus, if you're really careful and you roll your esophagus, your um, your trachea to one side, there's the esophagus right there. See it? It's right here. All you have to do is just separate. There's like a connective tissue in the back, and it's right here. And you can see it's a collapsed tube. This is that C-ring cartilage right here. And in terms of the heart, these dark things are the atria. Which are the atria. Anything else? Are we okay? All right. That's it.